In this movie we're going to look at the panel layout module which can be used to design custom connection panels and control panels. So we've started a new drawing based on the panel layout template and in this module your best friend is the generic library. The generic library has a hardware folder that includes panels like electrical panels or rack mounted blank panels and connectors. So let's begin with a blank panel. We'll drag in a 4U blank and a 1U blank and zoom to document. Now I can go to my connectors folder and as you can see we have all types of audio and video and data connectors. Choose the Harting 72 and drag that on. If I double click on a connector this brings up the engraving dialog and I can set engraving for that particular connector. Now I'm also going to drag on an XLR and you will have noticed already that the panel and the connectors have these red outlines. These represent clearances so that you don't bunch connectors too closely together and you don't overlap areas like the rack strip on the panel. These clearances can be toggled on and off using the clearances button like so. Now the Harting is a 72 pin connector which represents 24 channels of balanced audio so I might want to have 24 XLRs parallel to it. Instead of positioning each one individually I'm going to copy this connector and then paste an array of 24 connectors. I can either do that using the edit menu paste array command or I can use the keyboard shortcut control shift plus V or I can right click on the connector and choose paste array and with this command all you do is set the number of columns and the number of rows that you want and those 24 connectors are created in a single action. Now let's select this bottom row of connectors and by holding down the control key I can copy these down to the one U panel and at this point I'm going to turn off clearances. Now with the current settings in the document the number of snaps is set in one in the X and the Y axis. That means that for each grid point I can snap on the grid point. If I want to move these connectors around you'll see this doesn't give me quite enough granularity in my move. So what I'll do is increase the number of snaps in Y and the higher the number the more snap points I get per grid unit and then I can take all of these connectors and just move them up by half a grid point and now they're in the right position. Now with this panel what I want to do is evenly space my connectors horizontally and this was something that I could never work out when I was designing actual custom connection panels but with Stardraw Design 7.2 I can select all of these connectors and by going to the arrange menu choose the distribute function and if I distribute these horizontally all of those connectors are now spaced evenly the first and the last stay in the same place and all of the other members of the collection are spaced out between them great that saves a lot of time and difficult mathematics so with the panel layout module we have different views on the panel one of them is the metalworking view and this shows the cutouts for all of my connectors and any associated engraving. So in this view I might want to add some more engraving. So let's begin by adding some division lines. So I'll take a line and add it here and another one and add it here. This is going on to my engraving layer and on the engraving layer I can also add some engraved text and I can use this text to show that it's my microphone inputs. Now currently this text is aligned horizontally to be near i.e. it's left aligned. I'm going to change this to be center aligned and to align this text to my connectors one neat trick is to select the things that you want to align something to and group them 
and then the, select the thing that you want to align and use the align command again in the arrange menu. So I'm going to align the centers. This means that I'm going to align the center of the selection to the first thing in the selection. The first thing was a group and now that text is perfectly aligned to the center of the group. Another thing that I might want to do in this view is set engraving dimensions and for this I can use the dimension tool. Now at the moment my snap to grid modifier is on and this means that everything I do whether drawing or editing locks to the grid points and you can see that some of the things that I want to add dimensions to are not exactly on the grid. It's perfectly normal. So what I'm going to do is turn off the snap to grid modifier. You can turn the snap to grid modifier on and off using the F5 key. I'm going to turn on snap to path. What snap to path does is it locks drawing and editing to the end points, the midpoints, and the paths of other drawn objects. You can also toggle this modifier with F6. And I'm going to turn on orthogonal lock. And orthogonal lock will lock any drawing or editing action either to the horizontal axis or to the vertical axis. So now I'm set up to draw my dimension and with snap to path and orthogonal lock on it's very easy just to go from this point to the edge of the panel and this point to the edge of the panel. Having set my dimensions I can move them to a more sensible location. So let's drag this one over here and extend the leaders to appropriate points and I can move this one vertically and again extend the leaders to the appropriate place on the drawing. Incidentally the measurement units that I'm using at the moment are millimeters. This is just a document setting and you can choose any units that you want. Meters, feet and inches, inches. Just change it in the document and you can have any units that you want. Having set my dimensions there's one other view that I'd like to show you which is the rear view. So by selecting rear view we can take a look at the reverse side of the panel. Notice that the hearting here is on the right when it's on the left in the front view and in the rear view we also have pinouts on connectors to help your wireman wire those panels correctly and not reversed. So with the panel layout module it's very easy to create custom connection panels, see the metal working, set dimensions, and even see the wiring side. Thank you for watching.